going on guys it's raj here and today we have uh, a brand new uh clip for my wallet here and it also has the capability to have an air tag on it so uh, i decided to get another air tag so today we are going to be taking a look at this and modifying my wallet here which has the existing clip so without further ado we are going to cut open this bad boy here and we are going to go ahead and modify my uh, wallet here. I'll just need to create a gap here. All right, good old reliable pocket knife. And now that we have a gap, we can peel off all the plastic. All right, here is the actual clip itself. Gotta love these friction-based boxes. <laughs> really builds up the suspense here. All right, here we are. Definitely has a new smell similar to uh, what Apple has here. And looks like that's the clip itself. We have some documentation here. We have the installation guide. So this kind of goes through what you get here. So you get the housing plate, the money clip elastic, a screwdriver, replacement screws. And uh, it basically just tells you on how to do that there. And then that tells you there. Okay, so let's take a look at the goodies now here in the box. So this is the clip right here. And then let's see what else we get in here. Looks like we get a nice little thing there. Have the T5 Torx screwdriver. And we have a couple of replacement screws there. So as far as that goes, let's go ahead now and uh, prep the wallet here to receive its new plate, or its new clip, I'm sorry. So what we're doing here is we are going ahead and modifying the Ridge wallet here. So we are just taking off all of these base plate screws that are holding the clip and metal plate on here onto the enclosure and this is always the fun part all right we are going to just set these screws aside here and it is nice that they include extra t5 torx as well in there but you know we won't need them for our purposes we just need to get these off of here and what this will allow for is tracking my new wallet, which is great. All right. Let's go ahead and take this guy off as well. Looks like this is one stubborn screw, and this screw is trying to be a little stubborn with me today. There it goes. Now for the final three screws. Then we can take off the plate and get started here. It is a little difficult to do this with one hand, but I am certainly trying my best here. Let's try starting at this upper screw here. Might be able to get a better angle on it here. Yep, there it goes. It's already starting to turn there. All right, that's screw number one. Let's get screw number two. Wow, it is really putting up some resistance here.
Okay, got it part of the way through there. Okay, that's number two. Now let's get the final screw out of here. If it will allow me to do it with one hand. If I can get a better angle. Oh, let's do this. This might be a little bit easier. Let's go ahead and set my phone against here. That way you guys have a decent angle here. And let's try doing this. See, those are the first two screws there. Let's go ahead and try to loosen this other one here. Okay, it's not wanting to budge, so... Let's do this. Let me see if I can set something to prop my phone up here. That way it uh, will cooperate with us. Alright, that should work for our purposes. Man, this one's in there really nicely. Looks like my phone fell over there. Okay, should be good now. There it goes. Now it's wanting to loosen. Yep, told you guys this was an easy with two hands. There we go, screws out. Now we can go ahead and take off the plating. So here, for reference, is the old style clip. And set that to the side. This right here is the metal plate. And this is underneath it. Wow, it is absolutely dirty. So I'm going to go ahead and dust that off there. Okay, perfect. Now we get to install the new clip on there. Let's see. So, should just line up in place. The first thing we'll need to do is install the actual air tag in there. So, let's go ahead and do that. We're going to have to get these four screws off of here. Alright, that's screw number one for the corner there. Let's continue to remove them. And these also, by the way, guys, are also T5 Torx as well. So they're the exact same screws that the plate uses as well, which is real beautiful there. T5 Torx are uh, pretty nice, I will say, in terms of the screw type. They're somewhat easy to work with when they cooperate, that is. All right. All right, that is all four screws. Now, this just comes loose like so. And we are now able to go ahead and unbox the AirTag, which you guys have seen this before from me uh, in my AirTag video. We just peel up that. 
open it up and then take out all the documentation and then of course the beautiful air tag and we take it out of its nice little sleeve here and it makes its little sound And then we can go ahead and put the housing plate on it, like so. And let's rotate it to its desired spot there. Alright, all we do now is line it up and go from there. It is all lined up. Now we just have to screw it back together and then install it on the wallet, which will be the fun part. And then since you guys have already seen me uh, set up an AirTag before off camera, I'm just going to go ahead and skip that part uh, just for purposes of time here. Since I'm sure you guys have already seen that part a billion times where people set up air tags, so we'll skip that part. But uh, I will show you what the end result looks like on this wallet, which I'm sure it's going to be really, really nice. Just as soon as I piece this all back together. Just have to screw this plate back. Make sure the air tag is nice and secure in there. It's nice and shiny on the back, which is nice. All right, so that is the AirTag in place there. And it's in there pretty solid, so it's not going anywhere. All right, now it's time to install it back onto the actual plate itself here. So let's go ahead, line it up. Sorry about that. Let's go ahead and line it up here with the actual thing. And then let's go ahead and put all of these screws back in their place. Let's see here, just have to line it all up. If these T5s will cooperate with me, like I said, you know, sometimes they cooperate, sometimes they don't. So I'm hoping that they will cooperate with me. Oh, perfect. That one went right into its slot there. have one screw in place. Right now I'm just going through the process of tightening them back onto their housing here. I'm going to try to do it in like a star formation here so that it goes on very securely. So I'm going to do the corners first and then I will work my way around. just to make sure I fasten this clip in there securely. So far, so good. And the nice thing is, is that this clip also displays the actual air tag as well. So it's gonna display my initials there that I had engraved onto it, which is beautiful to see there. Okay, 
Looks like the clip is on there pretty securely, which is nice. And sorry about that, my phone decided to slip on me. Let's see here. I'm just gonna have to readjust it here. Okay, so that's all done. Now I just need to get the rest of these screws back in place and then that will be that. All right. And actually what I'll do is, so that you guys don't have to sit through all this boring stuff, I'll go ahead and come back once all of these screws are reinstalled. So this is the wallet, you guys, after everything is fully reinstalled. And if you guys enjoyed this video, I hope you um, leave a like, also comment and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.